The tension is really biting now. Only four teams left in the DFB Pokal, and the stage is set for an enthralling semi-final. It's Eintracht Frankfurt, they face Schalke, and we're live here on EA TV. And hello to you from the metropolis on the River Main, the city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And a very significant occasion in the MLS season stands before us. It's the conference final. It's Eintracht Frankfurt up against Schalke. Well, what an occasion this should be, Derek. Two excellent teams, two top coaches, a great atmosphere, and 90 minutes away from a place in the cup final. It should be a classic. And the starting 11 for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And here's the starting 11 for Schalke. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. Very much looking forward to this contest, and Schalke get the proceedings underway. Opportunity to deliver the cross. A fine block. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Zabanyi. Salazar. Now with Molle using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. He's protecting it effectively. Real chance! Really good diving save. Short corner it is. Another corner conceded. What can they do with this one? They favoured a short one here. to do it inside your own penalty area
Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out of situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Jordan Larson. Plenty of support here. To jump in front. Blocked it brilliantly. Oh, really close with that effort. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post cover for me. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Mason individual brilliance and the cross goes in well the danger is still there this could level it and it is the equaliser parity now and who's to say what's going to happen next Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. Onguene and a fine tackle. Cedric Bruna. Well, attacking possibilities. Could be. Oh, and it goes! The opening goal in this semi final. A long way from being decided, but it could be telling. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, 2-1 it is here. Onguene. It's a neat move. Can he finish? Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. Christian Jakic. Lindstrom. Jakic. Just the challenge that was required. Jesper Lindström. Buta with it. What a shocking pass, really. Counter-attacking, very much an option.
excellent vision. And that is how to block. And he's fired over the corner. Well, no end product. And no way through. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Trying to pick out a teammate. And the danger's still on. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Aurelio Buta. Chance to run at them. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Holding the ball up here, waiting for others to arrive. Alario. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Mason. Is it going to end up being productive for them? That's not a bad ball. Not away completely. And in the end, no damage done. And unable to pick out a teammate. And that'll be a throw. Laurent Mollet. And he's made headway. In it goes! It just gets better and better for them. Another goal. And they can truly dream of the final now. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Read it well. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will they profit from this situation? Well, that can he take the chance? There it is! The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. Aurelio Buta. Jesper Lindström. And they need to get tighter. And let's give credit to the defending. Jakic. Using his strength to shield the ball. 
Racing forward, trying to catch them out. They need to get bodies back. In position. And fired against the crossbar. And the danger is averted. Well, they can all calm down now, Derek. They've got away with that one, you have to say. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. And that'll be a Schalke throw-in. And making headway. And he takes on the shot. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. Those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will, and while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. Alario, promising looking ball. Not going to get away with that because it's offside here. And he shouldn't be offside there. He's gone too early, and that's a waste of a great opportunity. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Jesper Lindström. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Jordan Larson. Not the pass he had in mind. Continues his run. Now they stopped them in their tracks. And out of play for a Schalke throw. And they're really pressing their opponents. And so it is. Half time. We've reached the midway point of the game here in the Frankfurt Forest. He's protecting it effectively. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Alario there to take it away Molle and that pass could be troublesome can he keep his composure and denied by the keeper impressive an awful lot of green space to run into Alario and a goal kick given well, the speculation has been out there for a while, but if the rumours are to be believed, Chelsea may be about to get their man, Stuart. Yes, this has been going on for some time now, so no great surprise, really. Hopefully, we'll know more in the next few days. Alvi Jan. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more live Bundesliga action for you to look forward to.
It's Eintracht Frankfurt versus Köln. That should be a tasty encounter. Plenty of quality in those two sides. Certainly one to enjoy. Well, it might still work out for them. Danger averted for now. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. What an incredible save. Alario. Great opportunity. A goal here. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to celebrate it. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. But that's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Mollet. Well timed tackle. Oh, great attacking play. Will he finish? Shot blocked, but still alive. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Alario Lindstrom regained possession Mason and collected tidily he had plenty to think about Onguene Buta with it Alario Aurelio Buta 30 minutes left for play Could pull one back here That's high level goalkeeping Well that's a fantastic save He's such a good keeper So deciding to make a personnel change At this juncture Playing it in. Well, as a defender, that will sit you down to the ground. Onguene. Just the challenge that was required. Well, as the stats confirm, Schalke have struggled to get control of the ball so far, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. It's really good without the ball, and the all-around performance levels have been high. Nice-looking pass. Well, nicely cut out. A live game from the Bundesliga for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Schalke, and they'll be taking on Freiburg. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Aurelio Buta. Jesper Lindström. Jakic Lindström Well it's one pass after another but then the one that goes astray Larsson Could be dangerous And given away 
and into the last 20 minutes Aurelio Buta Lindstrom opportunity here and that is defending of the highest order running with the ball confidently but they dealt with the threat first Mason potential danger here now will the cross work out for them good work to win the ball back high up the pitch the keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there and time for the change now Can someone get on the end of this? Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Another corner. And a struggle to get it away properly. Oh, tremendous header that time, but the goalkeeper was there. Corner once more. Let's see about the delivery. And that is a defender doing his job, clearing it off the line. Very quick thinking there. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Zabani now with Molle good looking cross and it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over Luke Thomas Thomas Melamed. Not a good pass. And he read it well, intercepting it. Aurelio Buta. He's protecting it well. Oh, but they've lost it now. This might be the perfect counter attacking opportunity. And he's made headway. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Base on the flank and not cleared away properly Moore on to Molle how can he take them on and beat them well showing excellent judgment to intercept and strong play here. Onguene. Thomas. Nico Melamed. 
Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Kono Muani. And using his strength to shield the ball. This is looking threatening. This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. and a real treat in store for the travelling fans because they can now get ready for the final well what a display that was their attacking play was breathtaking at times and they completely dominated in midfield which then allowed the fullbacks to get forward to great effect they'll surely be favourites going into the final